whatever. What do you think? Are we gonna have some chickens? She thinks we might. All right, so I'm going to start totally from scratch with y'all setting up the incubator. I'm using today the incubator called the Nurture Right 360. Totally doesn't matter what type of incubator that you have, but that's the particular model that we'll be setting up today for our virtual classroom. So the first part um, of this incubator that I'm gonna put on is our gray tray, all right? And it just sets, there's, this is what the top side looks like, and this is what the bottom side looks like, okay? So you need to make sure that you get the top and bottom side correct. So when you set the bottom side, it's pretty easy. There's a circle in the middle, and you're just gonna set it right onto that circle. All right, so the next part of the incubator that we have to put on is the egg turner, which is this white part that kind of looks like a sort of a snowflake. All right, so this just sets right on top of the gray incubator, and there's a little metal rod that pokes out through the middle that you set it on top of to kind of keep it a little bit secure. So it should just wiggle a little bit like that. So the next part of our incubator that we have to set up is the top, which we have right here. So this is what the top of your incubator would look like if you're using the Nurture Right 360. The biggest thing when you're putting the top of the incubator on is you just need to make sure that you align it correctly with the bottom so that way it sits comfortably and creates a pretty good seal around the bottom part of your incubator. All right, so now I'm gonna hook up the power to our incubator. This tiny cord that's attached to the bottom, that's for the egg turner, which again is that white part. So if we flip her around, you'll see where our egg turner plugs in and where our power supply plugs in. So I'm gonna plug in the egg turner right there. And then here I have my power supply. I already have it plugged into the wall. So all I need to do is plug it into the incubator. Okay, so this is what the top of your incubator looks like. This obviously tells us what temperature it is inside of the incubator right now. And this tells us what our humidity is right now. Now I want to make sure that my temperature is set to the correct temperature. Maverick, that's not very nice. So in order to determine what I have my temperature set at, you're going to hit this menu button and you're going to hold it down for three seconds till this starts flashing. So it's flashing 99.5 degrees Fahrenheit, which is exactly what I want my incubator set at. And it kind of acts as a thermostat, so it'll kind of get up close to 99.5 and then it'll simmer down a little bit and then heat back up just like your thermostat that you have at home. Now the humidity, we have no control over setting that other than um, adding water to our um, reservoirs right here. And then we can also adjust the humidity by adjusting our um, vent right here. You don't ever want to close your vent completely we're gonna start out with having the vent about halfway open, and then if we need it to be less humid, we can open it even more. If we need it to be more humid, we can close it more. Um, the other thing we need to set on this incubator is the number of days. So I'm gonna hold the button down for three seconds again. It starts flashing. I'm gonna push it one more time, and right now it's at day zero because this incubator was just used for a hatching in the classroom project. So we're gonna change that day zero to day 21, and then it's gonna count down from there. So essentially day zero is your hatching day. All right, so now we're set at day 21, because today is the 21 day, and it'll start counting down once I put those um, eggs inside of our incubator. Make sure it's still set at that, it sure is. All right, the other pretty cool feature about this incubator is we can test out our egg turner. 
To test the egg turner out, you're gonna press the plus and the minus button at the same time. And if you'll focus down on here, you'll see that that turner begins to turn. Okay. And then at the last but not least, the coolest feature on here is our egg candler, which I actually don't use very often um, because I prefer to use my cell phone, which you'll see later on in my candling videos. But put an egg on there right now. So you can see I can press this button and it will light that egg up. All right, so I've given my incubator about 30 minutes to an hour to kind of settle down and get to the right temperature and the correct humidity. So right now, if the lid is on it, it is at 99.5 degrees Fahrenheit and about 55% humidity. So now is a good time for me to go ahead and add my eggs. When you add the eggs, the most important thing is to put them in pointy side pointing to the middle of the incubator. So I'm going to put them in pointy side in. And I'm going to use this green egg right here to help me determine if my egg turner is turning or not. So I'm going to pay more attention to this green egg and make sure it's in a different place in the incubator later on throughout the evening and the day. So I'll go ahead and put the rest of these eggs inside. I have a carton, more of them. 